Okay, y'all, so this is dry. So now we're gonna put them together. This is dry also. Put these two together. And then once that dries, then uh, I could show you assembly. I don't have to let it dry. I could do assembly um, before and then just take it back a loose. So now that it's dry, get my Mod Podge, brush. Okay, get my brush in the Mod Podge. Get a little going. Let me get um my um wipes. There's a wipe to hold them together, and I'm going to use um, clips. Let me find my clips. Give me one second. I use these clips to hold it together when it's when I have something in between. When it don't does not fit together flat. So I'll put the Mod Podge on. Grab one of my front pieces and just lay it over the top. And I'll squeeze down. I use the white so I don't do any smudge into the, the um, clear finish. I'll first hold it together until it starts to tack up, especially on the bottom. Then I let the wipe stay on and just use the clamps to hold it together at the top. Because the bottom will it will um, it will stick quicker than the top because of that piece that's in the middle of the top up there. So I'll just check it. Make sure we're getting it. Because it's going to take a lot to get it to go together. Because that piece. So I might have to hold it a second or two. Squeezing real tight. So you see why I take I took the hammer and just hammered these flat so I could make them a little bit more flat because it's gonna still be bulky in the middle there of that piece. But if you take the hammer and flatten it out some you have better chances of making the this stick together. I could have did with I could have did it with um, the E6000, but it would have been so messy trying to get all that to go together. So because I did it here with the E6000, we don't have to worry about this slipping out or anything. And once we get this to stick, once we get this paper to stick, we don't have to worry about it. It'll it'll stay together. stick pretty good. So while we're doing that, I'm going to put this one on there. I have some more of these. I was looking for them. I don't have them near me, I don't guess. same way and all I'm gonna do is I need two of these to 
to open this gent ring. So I will look that one down here like so. Now if you don't get your um, holes lined up properly, you can always get you one of these 1 8 inch um, hole punchers and just follow the guide on there. The, the hole that you cut is a guide and you can just follow that and you can push through to clean that hole out if you didn't get it lined up properly. Like one of these didn't line up properly so I'm gonna have to follow this guide here and work this down through there to clear that hole. Could have did it while I was putting it together, but I'll wait it. So you could do that, but you'll need um, a jump ring for one for both ends. And I'm using gold because the crown on her head is gold, so and let me show you a little tip. Let's take this apart real quick so I can show you. Let's see how that squeezes down in between there. Now you could you can take and you can turn this this way or you can turn it this way and whichever way you turn turn this will um, make a difference in how the earring hangs so if you turn it this way and you put it on this jump ring it will it will hang this way but if you put it if you turn this this way and then you try to put it on this it would turn that way if you get what I'm if you get what I'm saying so if you if you turn it left or right left or right then it will hang properly like this it will hang like that but if you turn this front or back then it's going to turn to the side on this earring like that i hope you understand that so we're going to do from left to right or right to left, either way you want to turn it. But we're going to make it so that it loops to the side, to the left or right side. So like, like so. So you see it's going this way and not from front to back. So now when we hang it, See, I still got to put it, put this earring together. I might pull it out and put some um, E6000 on the corners. But you see now, it'll hang like that. So now, you know, with the hoop, let's get us a hoop. A hook. Hook, not a hoop. With the hook, it's front to back. So if I put this hook on here, it's gonna hang, it's gonna face this way. But if we take our pliers and we just maneuver the hook, turn it from so that it's facing right to left, then when we hang this, let me show you. Open it up. Here. Didn't close all the way. Let me close it. Now when we 
probably hang it in the ear. It will hang like so. Everything will line up correctly. And that is all. That is all to this earring. So when you hang it in the ear, it will not twist around to the back. It will a little bit, but it won't stay that way because it's the way we have the wires lined up, it will stay facing so it can be seen. I like to see what you guys come up with.